This is hard. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Kaylee, and I don't really know what I'm doing. I thought this would be a great idea. Thought. And as I'm trying to talk, I'm discovering that it's not as easy as other people make it look like. I'm struggling. I'm awkward. <laughs> Best combination ever. So, I live in Texas in a small-ish town that's getting bigger. Not, not that good, but you know, making it. I go to college, only community college though, but there's a, there's a good reason for that. I work at Justice and I plan to go to a university next year with one of my best friends. So looking forward to that. I'm planning to major in like marine biology something. I don't I don't know. That's 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 an idea because I, I don't know what I'm doing with life. I'm just kind of going down that river. Just <laughs> oh no. So that's me. Did I say I was 18? I guess I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm 18. And I have a nose piercing. I went and got that like two weeks ago with my best friend and one of our guy friends. It was it was super cool. She got one too. It was it was a really good experience. I was actually really scared that it would hurt. But it actually, okay, so before we got there, I was super nervous because when I went with her when she got her belly button pierced and when she got it done, I got really sick and I had to leave the building because I was going to throw up. But I think it was because it was hot in the room because it was also like a really small room. So I got really hot, so I had to leave. It was summer though, so going outside didn't help that much summer in Texas keep keep that in mind because of that I started getting nervous thinking about getting my nose pierced but I've wanted it since my junior year so I was like eh, uh, I'm doing it. I have the money I'm 18 I, I can do it so we went and before we got there I started overthinking it so we're about to pull up there's a water burger sign I was like whoa, whoa pull over I need to I need a water burger and she's like why I'm like because I need some water because I'm freaking out just, just a little bit because I'm, I'm a baby when it comes to that stuff sometimes just just sometimes just beforehand but then when it's I, I get better so I got my water and let me tell you that was the grossest water I've ever had it tasted like cardboard the only reason I drink it was because if I didn't, I was gonna throw up. So I was like, okay, this water is gross. And they didn't even believe me until so they took a drink and they were like, how are you even drinking that? And I was like, it, I'm, I feel sick. Um, I need some water. So I'm just gonna deal with it. And I did. So we walked in and there's, the, there's tattoos everywhere. And we walk up to the counter, we fill out the paperwork, and then I'm like, oh my god, I'm scared. And so we got in the room. So, fun fact, I don't have a camera yet, so I was using my phone. And do y'all have an iPhone 6? Because the, the space on here is crap. And I recorded like nine minutes, and then it's like, oh, we're full. Mm -hmm. I only have like a hundred pictures, but I have a lot of music because I listen to music a lot, so there's that. So anyways, I was talking about my nose because I know everybody wants to hear about my nose because that's, hey, important. So anyways, we went in the room to go get it pierced and she was like, who wants to go first? And I automatically was like, me. And I was like, wait, 
no I don't, but I already said it, so I was like, ooh, I'm just going to go with it. So they sat down, she did the little, what's it called, ink, she did ink on my nose, so that I'd be able to see where the piercing would be, and so I got her to move it like a bunch because I'm, I'm picky, and I mean, if, if they're going to put a, a hole in my nose, I need to like where they're putting it because it's going to be there for a while because I'm not going all through that just to take it out in like a month. So we picked the spot and honestly before I got the piercing, like the night before, I was watching all these YouTube videos of people getting their nose pierced and I was like, oh my god, I'm kind of, well, doesn't look too bad but I'm still kind of, well. So, in most of those videos, I saw them take this metal tube and stick it up their nose to like put the piercing through, if that makes any sense. If it doesn't, you just go watch the video. And so I was laying on the bed waiting for that, but it didn't happen. She did it differently, so I was totally unexpecting of the needle going through my nose. So I was sitting there and she just told me to breathe and so I did, and then boop, I just, I just see a needle in my nose and I was like, oh we're done that it was it wasn't and it didn't even hurt what was the most like about it was getting the jewel in there because they have to it's an L shape so after the, they kind of have to wiggle it in there in your freshly made wound so that that felt great so that was me getting my nose pierced it was pretty cool and then um, after we did that we went ice skating I was really looking forward to that until I got out there. And I remember going when I was alone, I was like, oh, I'm really good at this. I did. I was so wrong because the moment I stepped out on my ice, I was like, oh god, I, re I regret this 100%. And my friends, they were just, they were going, they got the hang of it real fast, and then there's me just just try not to fall and have you ever seen like a video of someone skating or on ice and they're about to fall so they start kicking their feet up and looking really stupid that was me I I like I didn't want to fall so I'd be going and I'd be like boom boom and like leaning forward and I was like wow everybody this is in the Galleria so everybody surrounding could see that. I was like, oh, mm, mm, that's great. Because I want everybody to see that. And then um, my friend fell and she fell face first into the ice. And she was, it, I mean, I laughed. But then, like, 10 minutes later, someone pushed me and I felt my butt. And I had never felt pain in my butt like that. And I thought, I was like, oh my god. I can't get up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So it wasn't so funny after that. But my butt didn't hurt the next day. If y'all are wondering, just if, if y'all are wondering, I felt pretty okay. So I had always imagined that ice skating would be this big romantic thing, like that when I'm like older, not older. I'm 18. I knew what I want. So um, that if I if a guy ever asked me what I wanted to do for a date, I always thought, hmm, ice skating would be kind of romantic, kind of cute. No. I don't need him to try to keep me off my butt and on my feet because I'm so bad at ice skating. I don't, I don't even think I'll go again. Unless, like, someone really wanted me to go with them, then... I guess I'll be their entertainment of the day because I'm not I'm not I'm not good at it. There you go, you guys. That's just a little bit about me. I'm thinking I want to post videos twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. Sound good? I might change it. It might be like Mondays and Fridays, but at the moment Tuesdays and Fridays and hopefully I'll 
eventually have my camera situation sorted out like get an actual camera but no no promises I'm I'm dealing with what I have I'm thankful for what I have I just have a camera so leave me all on that I have tons of other stories and ideas that I would love to put out there Although I still don't have any idea what I'm doing, I'm I'm trying. I'm sorry if I keep looking over here because because it's my iPad Mini. I see myself there, and I'm thinking I'm supposed to be looking there, but in reality, I need to be looking here, which is like on the opposite side. I don't know. It's weird. That's why I was using my phone because it was better. But I guess I don't know why I have space on my phone. Like I was saying, I have a bunch of great ideas for you guys. I have just a ton of stuff I like to put out there because, I mean, I'm always on YouTube. I love YouTube, so I thought, why not be a part of it? Because if I already I like it so much, why not just do it? Do you ever have, like, words you want to say, but then you don't know how to say them? So you're just kind of like, Bleh. That's me every day. If you if you know me, you know that I'm just I forgot what I was talking about. But I forget what I'm talking about a lot because I'll go and ramble and talk about anything and then I'll be like, hmm. That's me. Okay you guys, it was great. It was fun. But now I have to go, so I'll see you guys on Friday.